AITP is here in Los Angeles with Polaris Rose. Welcome, Polaris Rose. Thank you. Peter Anthony and uh, Madeline Elise. Uh, how are you guys doing today? Doing really well. Good, good, good. Welcome. Well, I'm from Seattle originally, uh, born and raised, and then I uh, had a couple friends who were in a band out there, so I, well, I'm in Boston, so I moved up to Boston, I was there in the, the freezing cold for a couple of years, and uh, and that's where I met her, because she had a, a lot of mutual friends. We actually had been to many shows at the same time, never ran into each other, and then one night, we did, and started working together pretty soon after. Well, we actually moved to San Diego first. Okay. Um, <laughs> the idea was that San Diego was to LA as Boston was to New York, where it wasn't the big step to the big city, but it was still good music scene. Sure. Still we were totally wrong, on. though. Totally wrong. Totally wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even close. Um, I started doing uh, cover band gig work down there, and then we we're like, why are we doing this? <laughs> <laughs> a bolt of starlight across the sky can hardly see it well with the lyrics and a lot of the ideas, um, you know, when my hobby, and it's totally a hobby, I'm terrible at it, is I like to write little like sci-fi books and things like that. So I was thinking in terms of motifs and themes and metaphors that I wanted to be consistent through the whole, like as many releases as we did. And, um, so starlight and ocean waves and things like that, they all have this sort of eye construction behind it, but that's, that's the nerd in me. I guess we wanted to do things with um, a certain uh, chord palette with a lot of harmonies because we would always just you know, sing together at home and we wanted to do more of that. But with a rockier edge that's mm -hmm. not heavy metal but it's also not light rock. Sure. It's kind of sitting in the middle. Well, I think uh, one thing that really helps define us is the fact that Peter comes from more of a progressive background and I come from more of a pop background and so when we fuse them together I think it actually works out really really well because uh, the harmonies always have been really natural to us. Started, and we've done this for a few videos, kind of splicing kind of the classic footage with us doing something. <laughs> yeah. Whatever that Oftentimes, something is. Well, I'm not walking around aimlessly. <laughs> <laughs> we want that to be um, like a, like a, almost like a brand identity, you know, it's just sort of like a continuing theme between everything where we have, you know, n new artwork for the future already ready to go, you know, we mm -hmm. just want to keep, um, keep that motif of kind of like the old postcards mixed with a lot of sort of scenery and just meant to kind of create an image. But it's like all, it's all kind of L.A. beach postcards yeah, a la exactly. early 60s or during the Beach yeah. Boys era. <laughs> well, we um, when we started, we had, um, I think, a dozen or so songs that we thought were like, this is going to be the sound of what we want to go for. And one of the songs was called Polaris, uh, which we actually later renamed Telescopes. Um, but uh, that name was kind of just one that we thought was really, you know, it's the Northern Star and whatnot, and so uh, just out of the blue, Polaris Rose came to us, and mm -hmm. um, that, that was it. That was quick. It, it seemed to capture the feeling we were going for. Well, 
Well, my influences were people like Carole King, uh, Janis Joplin, Alicia Keys, uh, Alanis Morissette, uh, Meat Loaf. <laughs> Great um, group. I Including love, Meat Loaf in there. Uh, I the, love Meat Loaf. We do all love Meat Loaf. <laughs> um, the Food Fighters. And then Peter's is more of like 90s grunge. Well, no, not no. not 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 really. Kind of. Kind of uh, well, I'll, I'll give you the. I love the Smashing Pumpkins. Uh-huh. They were uh, the first band when I was listening to them as a kid that I was like, okay, I'm going to be a musician. I wanted to be a drummer at first and whatnot. Um, but Steely Dan, later on in my life, I got really more into jazz. <laughs> 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 I got more into jazz, and um, there's a lot of bands I, I'm a, a, totally obsessed with. One called Failure. One called The Mars Volta. Generally, kind of Mars like, Volta, excellent. Band. Yeah. Pro- progressive rock music is kind of mm-hmm. you know pr- fusion jazz from the 70s <clears throat> was really really cool to me you know also, I'll tell you this she hates Steely Dan but she did buy me tickets to go see Steely Dan uh, mm-hmm. for my birthday a great show we're gonna go up here that was Costello yes. yeah. 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 uh, that's right I can't wait show. I think the biggest highlight for us was uh, the first the CD release of Hotel mm-hmm. Cafe. Mm-hmm. That Scopes. was yeah. it was amazing. I mean, it was a packed house, and so many people came out to support us, and it just felt so good, you yeah. know. What's up next? What are you guys up to? What's coming? Got new songs. Uh-huh. Lots yeah. of them. <laughs> we have a lot of songs. We've demoed like thirty something songs at this point. Uh, actually, just earlier today, before we came over here, I shared a new song with Maddie, and she immediately vetoed it. <laughs> I didn't like it. But that's, that's the process. That's you know? the process. Yeah. Perfect. Great. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And when you say-